Okay, so we've positioned, we were just talking about the oh, camera for a second. Um, so we've positioned the wheelchair so that it's about six inches back. Where she's going to be pushing off is about six inches back from the parallel bars themselves. Patient, I'm going to be helping you um, get up and do some moving around. So I'm going to put the skate belt on so I can help you a little bit easier. Okay. All right. Um, what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be getting you up and doing some walking in the parallel bars here. Before we do the actual walking, we're going to do some exercises to help prepare your muscles for that activity. Okay, we have your braces on your legs, so we'll, before we get started, we will lock those into the straightened position. Um, she'll have something on her ankles that'll keep her ankles in a neutral position. Sometimes they have a little spring on them that allow, you know, a little motion there. So, all right. Which one do we have here? Put this out of your way. Okay, so when I stand you up, um, first thing we're going to do is I'm going to have you get on what's called your Y ligament. Okay, the Y ligament is a ligament in the front of your hips here, and it's a nice strong ligament. And what's nice for you is it's going to allow you to have a nice stable position for standing. You don't have to worry about if you're going to fall backward or fall forward so much. It's going to keep you from falling backward. Okay. So um, you're going to keep your hips kind of in front of your ankles. Okay, so anytime you're standing, the hips should be forward, um, forward of the ankles. Uh, so you're going to be in this position. Once we're in this position, we're going to do some activities. There's four areas we want to cover, and I'm saying this more for the camera. I wouldn't necessarily say all this to the patient at once. Um, but we're going to cover coordination activities, some balance, some strengthening, and then some of the things that you're going to do with your walking pattern, we're going to break that down into like little pieces to practice. Okay? So this is all pre-ambulation exercises. Okay, so when you first get up, um, get on the Y ligament, we're going to practice finding your center. Okay, so we'll do some balance things first. So what I'll have you do is I'm going to have you kind of shift forward and backward. I want you to learn where it is that you lose control of that Y ligament. Um, so we'll have you kind of lean back until you feel like you're going to fall, and then come back forward again. So you kind of find you know where you're comfortable. We'll do some shifting side to side, get you used to using your arms to shift. Um, and then we may uh, do some activities like um, leaning way forward, leaning way back, falling off your Y ligament, and then pushing yourself back up onto the Y ligament. Okay. I'll be holding the gate belt to help you all that time. Okay, So, um, go ahead and let's lock your knee braces. So, Chip will do the George Jetson side. Doing. Okay, so then straighten out your legs. All right, scoot your bottom forward in the chair. Okay, and it's locked, correct. Double check that. Okay. <laughs> all right, um, to get this patient up, it's a little tricky because she's got these long leg braces on. If I were to just help her stand up right now, especially on tile floors that you usually see in physical therapy, it could be a matter of, whoa, where'd the patient go? Okay? <laughs> so there's a little trick to this. What I'm going to do, I don't have to stabilize both feet, okay? because she's kind of connected, so um, I just need to stabilize one. I'm going to have you move your feet just that way, just a little. Okay? And her feet would be up in dorsiflex position, so go ahead and put them in a dorsiflex position. Okay? These wouldn't be the shoes that we would use. <laughs> Sorry? You want to take them off? Yeah, why don't you take them off? It might be a little safer. Good. Okay, so she'd have nice sturdy shoes on. She has her ankles in a uh, nice neutral position there. Okay, see how I have my foot right next to her heel? Um, once I have her stand up, so I'm going to start in this position. Um, notice it's my back foot that's near her um, heel there. Once she starts coming up, I'm going to do a little kind of a to do like this. Once she gets weight on that and she's stable on that foot, I need to get my foot out of her way. Okay, So kind of pay attention. I'll do this a couple of times so you can watch my feet the first time and then you can watch the whole transfer after that. Okay, So first time up. Are you ready patient? Yep. Okay. Um, at first it's okay to pull. Eventually we want her to be able to push up, but for right now it's fine to have your hands right up here and pull up. Okay. Once we're up, what are you going to do? Beautiful. Okay, here we go. So we're going to go on three. One, two, here we go. Three. And then I move my foot out of the way. Okay, so once her foot starts coming down onto mine, um, I need to get out of the way so we don't end up going, oh, wait. <laughs> we both end up falling on the foot. Okay, so let's do that again just so that they can watch that as well. Okay, so now you can watch whatever part you want. Now that you've seen the feet, you can watch the whole thing. <laughs> Ready? It's okay. On three. One, two, here we go, three, 
Good. Okay, bring your hands forward a little bit more. Let's bring those hips forward more so that you're really on that wide ligament. Okay? Good. All right. Um, now we're going to try to find your balance point. So um, go ahead and just kind of shift forward a little bit. Good. Now as you shift back, you're going to feel a point where you feel like you're going to fall off the wide ligament. So I want you to get just before you would fall off. Forward. Okay, so she has to learn to feel that um, rather than you telling her where it is. Okay, and then use your arms to shift side to side. Good. Okay, so we can do some balance activities like that. Um, sorry? No, we're just trying to find our way. Oh, okay. It's hard without hanging on to without hanging on to the bars. Here. And notice, even when I'm talking with my hands and stuff, I always have one hand on that gate belt. Okay, make sure you. Always keep your hand on the patient. Okay, um, to sit you back down, I'm going to have you take just a little step backwards. So go ahead and put, put your hands back some, just a little. Okay, and just lift up and your body will kind of fall between your shoulders. So just do kind of a push up, go back down. Okay. You don't want the patient very close because if she gets too close when she hits the chair, her feet will come up like this and it'll kick you and it also can get her foot caught. So you don't want her, too, her feet too close, okay? Now you're going to go ahead and fall off your wide ligament, okay, and then lower yourself down. So lean forward. When you can, reach back for the armrests. Go ahead and lower yourself right down to the front there. Good. Okay. Then I could help unlock her legs, and then she can scooch back. Okay. All right. So that was for the balance activities. The patient's going to need a lot of resting during this one. Um, because they haven't been up in a while usually. If they've had a spinal cord injury, they've probably been down for a while trying to get everything healed back up. Okay, we're gonna do some, um, like, let's do coordination next. We could do strengthening. It doesn't matter the order that you do them in as long as you do all four things. So we'll do some strengthening things. We can do some push-ups. Um, we're actually strengthening the muscles here that you're gonna need for your crutches. Um, we could do a push-up and then have you, while you're up in that push-up, go side to side. What's that gonna strengthen? That we need for ambulation. AD ductors. Okay, so as I lift up like this, um, as I pull this way, I'm strengthening this AD ductor and strengthening this AD ductor as I go that way. So you'll be actually pushing right up on the um, bars there. Um, what did I say we're doing coordination or strengthening? Sure, strengthening. Okay. Uh, we could also do uh, the dipper. Okay, and I want to show the dipper because the words don't always make sense. With the dipper, what you're going to do is you're on your wide ligament, and you're going to put your hands forward a little bit. You're going to push your hips backward until you fall off your wide ligament. Um, you still have control here. Your braces are keeping your legs from buckling. And then you're going to just kind of go down so that your chest goes between the two bars, and then push yourself back up until you're on your wide ligament. Okay, so that's a good strengthening for the um, triceps. All right, if we were going to do some coordination things, I'd have her come up to standing, have her shift, and lift, shift, and lift. Um, we could also do some uh, where she's moving her hands around because she's going to have to move her crutches, right? So she can do some where she has to momentarily balance, shift around like that. So some activities like that, okay? Depending on her level, if she has hip hikers, um, for some of the gait components, again, we could do the um, cruising where we bring the hand forward or a hand to the side. Shift to one leg, do a hip hike, shift over, okay, and then shift onto this side and do another hip hike. Okay, shift away from it, do a hip hike. So you have to make sure you shift off the leg that you're going to be lifting up. Okay, so I want to really make a point of that. Okay, so those are some of the activities that we're going to do. We'll just do a couple of them right now. So we're going to come back up to standing. So go ahead and scoot your bottom forward. Make sure your knees are locked. Okay. Oops, I'm sorry. After a while, the patient will get a little bit better at this. Um, once we get her outside the parallel bars, sorry, go ahead and relax for just a second. Once we get her outside the parallel bars, she's going to be getting up a different way. She's going to be using the crutches to help her get up, and where it's not going to, you have to worry so much about the feet. Okay. All right. Um, here we go. Uh, you want your hands up here again? Sure. All right. On three. One, two, here we go. Three. Good. Okay, bring your hands forward so you're comfortable. 
All right, and then we can do all those things that we just talked about. Do you want to see them? Do you feel like you've got a good feel for them? Want to see a couple? Let's see. Sure. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Go ahead. Now, you may want to bring your hands forward a little bit more and bring those hips a little further ahead of your ankles, okay? So keep reminding your patient about that Y ligament so that she isn't all of a sudden falling down like that. Okay. Um, I'm going to have you go ahead and shift over to that side. Gently put your hand on top of my head and then back to the bar. Good. All right. I'm going to let go of you for just a second, okay? And with a, a patient, again, this is that really scary stuff. It's going to look kind of like, you know, this type of thing where they're, at first they're not going to be able to find that balance point. Okay, so you're going to see them kind of, you know, doing this type of thing. And eventually they'll get to the point where they can kind of find that balance point and then do that. Like that. Okay. But the, when they're on the Y ligament, I mean, it's an, ex, an exaggerated motion like this when they're on the Y ligament. Okay, so we really keep those hips forward. If anybody has back problems that you know, we've been working with, be careful about this position because it can be really uncomfortable on your back. <clears throat> okay, so let's try it again. Go ahead and shift over to one side. I gently touch my head and back down. Okay, and then shift to the other side. Up and down. Good. Okay. Um, anything else you want to see? The cruising? Maybe? Yeah. Okay. Um, to turn, okay, you're going to put one hand back, one hand forward, and when she lifts up, her body will kind of straighten her out between her shoulders. Okay, so the shoulders will be kind of in this direction, and her body will just kind of fall between the shoulders. Okay, so just do a push up. Good. Okay, and then you can go ahead and bring this hand over there. Okay, um, in order to move this foot, we need to get some weight off from it, so I'm going to have you shift over away from me. And then you remember on the mat we did those happy puppies? Okay, um, we're going to do that same type of activity where you're going to yep, lift this up and it should bring your foot over a little bit. Okay, bring your hands over, shift the weight onto this foot. Okay, all right, hand over, shift away, and then come on back. All right, let's go back toward the chair then. Doesn't do any good if you come over to this side and go back because then she's doing the same side. If you want to work on both sides, have her stay on this bar. So I'm going to shift it to this side, go ahead and hip hike, and shift over, good, shift over, good. Oh <laughs> shift over, and see how I'm giving her some physical cues mm -hmm. as she's going, shift, good, it feels counterintuitive to yeah, yeah. shift this <laughs> one and lift that side, but, okay, so we could do some activities like that, so you get the idea, mm -hmm. okay, so some strengthening, some coordination, some balance, some gait components. Okay, you have to include, I think in the checkoff, I think you have to do two of each of those four. Okay, so eight exercises. Okay. Some of the exercises would qualify for either strengthening or coordination. That's okay as long as you tell me which you're using it for. You can't use the same exercise for strength and for coordination. It has to be eight different exercises. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and turn back so that your bottom is toward the chair. Beautiful. I'm going to have you come forward just a little bit more. Now, it looks like she's going to miss the chair, but she isn't. Okay? Um, so put your hands back a little bit. You're going to fall off your Y ligaments. Lean forward. Good. You're going to sit right on the edge of the chair. That's okay. Trust me. Beautiful. Okay? All right. And then I would help her unlock the knees and we'd scoot your back. Okay? That's the parallel bar exercises. For practicing parallel bars, we have like four stations here. Remember, you can also take some of the um, high-low tables and squish them closer together to use those for parallel bars as well. Okay. Um, let me check my notes.